even even when you name Elijah, eh? Elisha, they said no prophet ever rose like Babalola. Not even Elijah. They showed us a picture, a picture of when the man went and challenged witches that we should meet by 4 p.m. around your tree. And the witches came out. It was a contest. People gave gap and were watching the action. And he told the witches that if you can kill me, he gives them two hours. Kill me in two hours. But if you cannot kill me, I will show up two hours later. So he went and sat somewhere where the witches were. And when time was up, the only thing the man did was that he called the name of Jesus. And that kind of fire that comes, physical fire, that Elijah used to call, it came and burnt off that witchcraft tree. We have the picture of the tree burning. You just heard Apostle Oreb uh, Osai, Oreme, Arome Osai, welcome to the moment of truth. One of their, their followers, Suleiman's followers, said that I should remove the video where I, I exposed him lying about uh, uh, Idaosa. The other one said, um, stop sponsoring. Rubbish, rubbish, say you misrepresented him. It doesn't mean what I said and all that. Let's examine this video now. What he just said there about Babalola challenge the witches and uh, he command the fire to burn and all that. My pastor was born in CAC. He's over 50. So he's not a young person. He told us this story. He is on tape and is genuine. That was uh, last week. I think two, three weeks ago. The man that prayed and the, and the tree and the fire came down and burned the tree. The man is still alive today, but it's not, it's not well anymore. And I will tell you what my pastor told us because the man still alive. He was a pastor. He was a pastor. And Ijiro uh, sent him to one of the villages, very notorious villages, to pastor. And that, that church, that particular church, they said there's a woman that built a house in front of, of the church. And there's a particular tree there. And that woman vowed that no church will grow here. So they sent this man there. They said this man was very prayerful and uh, he, he, he just out for, for Jesus and Jesus alone. So they sent him there. So he realized that that tree, true, true, is becoming an hindrance. They said for seven days, for seven days, this man sat outside day in, day out and was praying. He was praying one thing for the fire of God to burn to 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 come down for the fire of god to come down for the fire of god to come down he said he was praying seven days no food nothing he was just there they said on the seventh day fire came fire came and the and the tree was burnt down nobody saw the fire this lie this one that is lying here but the the the, the 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 tree was burnt. That notorious woman that vowed that no but no church we 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 be established and everything. Everybody know the woman in the village. They said the woman saw it and she was afraid and she ran away. And everybody heard about it. So the whole noise everywhere go everywhere. You know the villages now. They said the woman said eh. So the true, true, true power of God, the woman ran away. Then you know what happened? Your mommy, Gio, the wife to the, to the Gio that that pastor served under, now invited that man. And uh, they, now, they said the woman now gave him tea. Ah, pastor, so, 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 could you come upstairs and come and have some tea to eat? The man, yes, ma, yes, ma, yes, ma, yes, ma, yes, ma. Without praying, without checking the spirit of your mommy Gio, he went upstairs. So he got the tea from mommy Gio. 
since that day, since that day, the man become very sick. He will just be sleeping, slurring 24 hours. He couldn't pray again. That is the story Osai was saying there. And he was saying it was Ayodele uh, Babalola. Uh, now, lie, yo, don't believe all these people with their lies. So, this one I'm telling you, the man is still alive, he's still sick till today. And everybody was saying, ah, What is Mama Gio's own in this matter? Why did he now use his influence to cripple this man, this innocent man that helped your husband church to grow? So, evil prevails. So, if you don't know, you know. So all these men, all these women, they are very dangerous. I just want to quickly um, clear the air about the story our Arome Osai was saying. We'll be exposing them one by one. I don't know why they have to tell stories to, to bust us their point. We have a lot of, from Genesis to Revelation, it's not enough for them to preach. They have to, they have to hype their, their, their members. They are listening at their audience. Thank you, my people, for, for, for listening, for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.